So I would start just by saying, um, you know, it's good to get a win. Obviously, all these games are so, so important. That's a team that I respect as much as, as any we're going to play on our schedule. I think they're extremely well coached, as, as good as any, um, with some really good players. They play the game the right way, in my opinion. Uh, they're difficult to guard. Didn't surprise me at all to see them make a run and get back in the game. They're, they're veteran, four seniors in the starting lineup. So to get that win's really good for our group uh, moving forward. Now we'll turn our eyes forward and, and uh, look forward to Colgate on Wednesday. Well, that's important. I mean, if you want to win, right, win big, win championships, you've, you've got to find uh, contributions from up and down the roster. Um, and so for them, you know, they're obviously two folks that we, we, you know, we're not surprised when they contribute. We expect them to contribute. That's why they have the role that they do. Um, really the first two to come off the bench generally, um, and they're both very capable. So I'm not surprised at all. It's, it was a big lift for us. Um, you know, hopefully we can continue to, to have them play well and, and have some others con contribute as well. Uh, well, I mean, all, everybody you're talking about, they're, all, they're good players, right? And they, they, they can give you production in one way or the other. Um, what we try to do really is just, while I know starting is important for a lot of folks, and I understand that, I wanted to be a starter. For us, we really try to put together what we think is the deepest rotation we can, um, keeping in mind offensive and defensive balance when we substitute, right? So we've got some offensive, kind of the, the, the first pitch offensive players, Taylor, CeCe in that first group, and then we sub and we bring in, you know, we trade, put some offense in, take maybe some offense out, that kind of thing. So it's just mixing and matching the lineups to keep good balance so we feel like we're going to be able to defend and continue to score consistently. Uh, good opponent. That's the first thing that I would say, good opponent. Um, I thought we got careless with the ball. Their intensity level went up. You know, they're down 15, 17, whatever it was. They, they knew they had to create some extra possessions. They did a good job. Not surprising to me. Again, senior-laden team. Um, we just, you know, we got a little careless with the ball. Uh, I thought our transition defense broke down a couple times, but really it was about the opponent. They're really a good team. Well, you know, I think every team you, you look at um, that is quote unquote a contender for the championship or has championship aspirations, you know, they've all got multiple options. And, and you know, if, if it's just Taylor on any given night, we're probably not winning, or just Taylor and Carly. It's got to be. You know, you've got to have a consistent three or four, and then, like we talked about before, get contributions in other places, whether it's, you know, Ty making a couple shots. I know she made a shot early in the game tonight, which, you know, which is big, and Marley's had some big nights, or the bench folks. So, you know, it, it really is a team sport. It takes a team. Uh, we're fortunate to have some, you know, consistent scores, but we've got some other folks around them that can chip in at any moment. Well, I've been watching them closely, and they're just getting better and better. Uh, I think their last four games have all been decided by one possession, like three points or less, I believe, including the most recent game yesterday. So, uh, you know, new coach, a lot of new players, new mo uh, moving parts, and they're really starting to come together. So our hands are going to be full. It's not a, there's nothing comfortable about the trip up there. Um, and they're a team that's that's on the rise, in my opinion. That's getting better and better every game. So we've got our we've got our hands full. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're trying to get rid of that inconsistency and play at, you know, one level. Um, when we do that, I think we're going to be a really hard team to beat. Um, but like I said, we kind of just locked in at the end. We knew they had to come get us, and we got the win under our belt. So that's all that matters. Yeah. I mean, I trust Taylor and Carly. Yeah, Taylor and Carly a lot. Um, Taylor's just one of those players. You can hand the ball off to her with eight seconds left, and she can go get a bucket wherever she wants, whenever she wants. So, um, I mean, that's just a luxury to have. And then ha to have Carly in the post as well um, with her finishing ability is just another strong point for us. And I think we expose other teams doing that a lot, um, and especially Taylor. She, like, gets the other team in foul trouble just by dribbling the ball. So she's really hard to stay in front of, and I think they're just two amazing players that we're lucky to have. Julie had a nice game for you, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Julie's a great player. She's one of the hardest workers I know. Um, so the fact that she's knocking down shots doesn't surprise me. Um, I mean, if teams are just going to let her shoot the ball, 
I think she can score whenever she wants. So if she just is still ready to shoot all the time like she was today, I think we'll win a lot of games. I think I could just get more mature. Um, I was always a little bit immature playing basketball, whether that's just toughness or, you know, doing the right thing at the right time, just shot clock awareness, stuff like that. Um, I mean, everyone has stuff to work on, and I'm definitely going to focus on that.